We humans are one of the ocean's greatest enemies. Overfishing and emission of greenhouse gases are some examples of human activities that result in the destruction of marine biodiversity. But the most threatening human activity that causes the most damage is marine pollution. And examples of this are untreated sewage, industrial chemicals, and improper human garbage disposal. However, the most controversial of all that made the largest living space on Earth the lost paradise is the spilling of oil. This polluted the world seas with millions of tons of oil every year. But don't fear, the solution is here, and that's bioremediation. Bioremediation is a natural process wherein biological organisms and microorganisms degrade environmental pollutants. Take this experiment as an example. Let's pretend that rocks, gravel, sand, and coal inside the bottle are microbes. And this solution will act as a pollutant. When combined, the microbes will transform the pollutant into its less toxic form since the microbes are ideally suited for contaminant degradation due to their diverse metabolic capabilities. The progress in removing man-made toxins in the ocean depends on these factors. Biodegradability bioavailability, and physiological requirements. Let's see how aquatic oil degrading microbes respond to an oil spill. Essentially, the oil-eating microbes secrete enzymes to speed up metabolic reaction due to their genetic composition. Just like as humans, we use saliva to easily digest food. Enzymes and oxygen are used by aerobic organisms to break down the structure of the hydrocarbon ring in which the organic contaminant is oxidized. Carbon and electrons are transferred to the microbe that serves for their microbial growth and generates new cells. As a result, aerobic organisms produce harmless byproducts such as water and carbon dioxide. Just like water pumps emit carbon dioxide when fuel is put in. When heavy components sink to the bottom of the ocean, anaerobic organisms are responsible for degradation, producing methane as a byproduct. In addition, the remediation period will depend on the chemical compounds and concentration, but it will usually take time to degrade hydrocarbons and other pollutants. Bioremediation is a sustainable biotechnology for the treatment of polluted sites because microbes are endlessly cleaning up our mess. Yet if we continue to pollute, then maybe remediation will no longer be feasible. Let us speak for the ocean because we don't want the ocean to speak for itself. Hey, I'm Jerome Noresco and thanks for watching. Peace out!